Hi guys. Okay. I'm looking a little crazy. That's because we don't have any makeup on right now and my hair is a little frizzy. It's close to the end of the day. So, but today I could not wait to film this. It came in the mail like 20, 25 minutes ago. Uh, came really, really late for some reason, but I just could not wait to film this because I'm so excited. So I did a poll on Twitter and Facebook. And if you're not following me on Twitter or Facebook, please do so at the end of this video. My social media is always at the end of the video and in the description box down below, but definitely follow me because you see a lot of behind the scenes things. But I posted a poll saying I got both Jeffrey, I got the mini Jawbreaker palette from Jeffree Star's new launch. And tomorrow when I'm filming this, the full launch releases and I hope to get the big palette and a few other things and I was wondering if you guys wanted to see two separate videos or one combined video. Well the whole one it's two separate videos so that's what we have today. We have the mini breaker palette. I love this packaging. It's lime green and adorable and I thought it was kind of fitting to wear you know tie-dye because it's just kind of like splatter paint dye. Um I have this because Jeffree Star released on Twitter a couple days ago when I'm filming this that he was going to put up the mini breaker palette for sale for 20 minutes. So go and get it. Well, of course, I ran my happy little butt over to Jeffree Star Cosmetics and picked up the palette. That would have been a bad time. But this is what it looks like and let me tell you, I love this packaging. Now, I did do swatches already just because I took them in really good lighting so you could see them a lot easier. So I will have swatches up on the screen of the colors. But this is what the palette looks like. Super, super, super pretty. A lot of purples and that orange shimmery shade is one of my favorites. I'm just trying to make it so you can see all the colors. But we're gonna do something fun with that. And then it's also got a giant mirror. And that is his first ever mini eyeshadow palette, which I'm very excited about. And then I also picked up the gloss. Now I got mine in the shade Wet Peach and I've never tried his gloss formula. Uh, I didn't get them when they first released just because I, I didn't. So I did pick up one color, like I said, Wet Peach. Let's try to open this up. And this is what the component looks like. I love that. And that's what the shade looks like. Let's do some swatches. Ooh, it smells really, really good. Ooh, very, very pretty peachy shade. Looks like that, very, very pretty. I will put this on my lips at the end of the video, but look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So let, let me scooch you in, put my hair back, and let's jump right into it. I'm only going to be doing my eyes on camera just because that's what's easiest and that's what you guys clicked on this video to see. So let's get right into it. Okay, so we are hair is up and we are zoomed in and I have something in my eye because when don't I? I'm going to prime my eyes. I'm going to use the Pure Get a Grip eyeshadow primer. It's in a little pot because it came in a sample packet and wasn't working very well for me. I love that Jeffree Star does mirrors in all of his palettes, like, yes, please. I have no idea what I want to do. Okay, I think I'm going to take the shade Bubblegum, which is that bright pink, and pop that in the crease. I'm going to go in stamping it first and then blending it out. Ugh, this shade is very, very pretty. I love it. Okay. I'm going to take another smaller, fluffier brush and go in with the shade Foreplay, which is that shade right there. I love the names. We have Double Scoop, Orange Crush, Foreplay, Oral, Purple Punch, Slice, Bubblegum, Bite Me, and Hot Fudge. I love it. And I'm going to pop that in the crease as a second transition color. Ooh, that is a very bright shade. Very pretty shade though. I love pink eyeshadows, but I don't play with them nearly enough. But it's funny because I love pink, but I don't play with purple very often. I'm just weird like that. Oh my gosh, that shade is so pretty. Come on. 
I want to try to use as many shades as possible in this palette. I don't know why when I blend, I always tip my head to the side. Y'all, I'm weird. I don't, I don't get it. Okay, and then I'm going to go back in with that pink shade called Bubblegum just to blend the edge out a little bit. Now, I do notice that I'm not bringing it very far in the inner corner, and you know what? We're going to play around with it, so why not bring it in the inner corner? There we go. We're getting somewhere. Now what do I want to do? I know we're doing very pinky purple, but I really want to go in with that orange. <sighs> you know what? I might just take quite a few of these shades and put them on my eye. That one can go in the inner. You know what? Okay. I have an idea. So I'm going to take the shade, the, shade, the shade Slice, which is that shade right there, and pop that in the outer and inner corner of my eye. Now bear with me, you guys, because this may be a little bit of a different look, and I know that it is a shimmery shade, and we don't usually do this, but... We're gonna try something different. So we are going to stamp that and kind of like wiggle that on the outer and inner corner of my eye. Holy gold shade. So we are getting a little bit of fallout with that one, but that is because I'm just pressing that all over my eye. So yeah, we're gonna get a little fallout no matter what. And I am dragging that out because why not? So we have that all over the lid. And then I'm going to go in with a very, very, very small brush like this. And that same eyeshadow primer. And we're going to carve out the center of my lid. Now, I don't know if this is going to look nice. I don't know how this is going to look at all. But we're going to try it. This may be a total fail. But these eyeshadows are blending so nicely. I love them. And I'm going to take this... When I carve it out, I'm gonna take it up a little higher than my crease because it'll just be a little easier. So we have that carved and then before that sets, I'm gonna go right in, I think I got eyeshadow in my eye. Okay, I definitely had eyeshadow in my eye so this eye looks a little irritated, that's why. But I'm gonna take the orange shade called Orange Crush which is a light shimmery shade and we're gonna pop that right on where we carved out the lid. Hopefully this looks okay. And then go back in with that gold shade called Slice and mesh those two together nicely. Okay, that didn't work very well. Let's just blend over that orange. Did not work very well. We're just going to cover that back up. Okay, we have that covered back up. I'm going to redo that, but take this oral shade. Where do we take bite? No, we'll do oral. The oral shade, which is that shimmery purple, and just... Try it with that shade. Okay, so we have something like that, and like I said many, many times before, once I clean up under the eyes, we do like the inner corner and the lower lash line, it'll be okay. So let me do that real quick. Okay, I cleaned up under the eyes, and I primed for primer. I used the NYX Honey, Honey Do Me Up Primer. I'm gonna go in with my Jeffree Star sponge and the Tarte Found Sealer in shade Fair Light Sand, and apply that. And then we'll do some concealer and powder, which will be Jeffree Star Concealer and Powder. And then I will be back. I swear, I still need a different shade of concealer. While I'm baking with the Jeffree Star Setting Powder in Fair, I'm gonna go in and do my eyebrows with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Taupe. Next, I will spray my face using the Pixie, what is this, the Milky Glow, Dewy Glow Setting Mist or something like that. I don't quite know because all the writing has worn off of it. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Whew. Okay. And then while that's going, we will finish up under the eyes, taking the star of the show and going in with Purple Punch, which is that very dark purple shade in the middle, smudging that very, very, very closely to the last line, like as close as I can possibly get it. Okay. 
Okay, and then to have some fun, we're gonna go in with, ooh, do I wanna take bubblegum or foreplay? I think we're gonna take foreplay, which is that lighter purple shade, and smoke that out, because why the heck not? Not even terribly crazy, but we're gonna have fun with it. I don't think I've ever brought an eyeshadow this far down. And that's what we have, looking slightly crazy, but it'll all come together. And then I'm gonna take that gold shade, which is called Slice, that shade right there, and pop that on the... I'm gonna like sharpen up this outer corner though, because where the heck not? Pretty much like wing it out, why not? We have nothing to lose. And then we are going to go back in with the shade Oral which is that shade right there, and pop that in the inner corner because, again, why the heck not? We have nothing to lose at this point. Oh. And then we're gonna, oh, I got into my eye again. Lightly just blend that out with a clean brush so it's not so crazy intense. And then that's the eyes all done. Obviously, we'll add mascara and stuff, but let's finish up the face real quick. I'm going to bronze with my NARS Laguna bronzer and blush with my Laura Geller baked blush in Brighton in Tropic Hues. Okay, uh, next we're on the highlighter, and I can't tell if I want to use the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Frost in Sarcophagus, which is my absolute favorite highlighter by him. Or if I want to use the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Supreme Frost in Wet Dream, which this one is very blinding. Um, we're going to go in with Sarcophagus from the Skin Frost because that's my favorite. And I'm going to take that as my highlighter and my brow bone highlight. Man, oh man, I've made quite a dent in this. I love this look. This eyeshadow though, way out of my comfort zone, but I'm loving it. Okay, next we're gonna move in with mascara. For mascara, I'm going to use the YSL, the shock mascara and apply lashes. We're going to apply the Lily Lashes in Gaia, Gaia? Something like that. Okay guys, I am finally back. My eyelashes look real, real wonky. I was not able to apply the Lily Lashes, so instead I applied the Ardell Crispies. And um, my lash glue exploded absolutely everywhere, so I have sort of a mess, but next, because I think it'll be fun and cute, I'm going to take these little itty bitty stars and some lash glue and pop them on the inner corner. Okay guys, I threw some stars in the inner corner of my eyes. I think it looks very, very pretty, but next let's move into lip gloss. I'm gonna put this on uh, alone and then if I think it needs it, we will apply it with a base. Look at that. This formula is super glossy, not sticky at all very thin on the lips oh my gosh it's so pretty but it definitely needs something more so let me go grab a liquid lipstick i grabbed the liquid lipstick and i'm nude and i'm gonna apply that real quick so i have that on and i figured that's the best nude to kind of showcase what this lip gloss actually can do so let's just uh look at that that is gorgeous my lips feel very very thin like there's almost nothing on them very very glossy i love it and it's not sticky at all um, i do have a hair in my lip though okay you guys so that is the finished look and my review on the mini breaker palette from jeffree star cosmetics you guys i love it uh no surprise here i'm I love um pretty much ev 
you guys honestly there's not a product from jeffree star cosmetics that i don't love so i love this i love the eye look we did today very very pretty don't mind the lashes again they're pretty wonky but i love it the gloss i highly recommend it is not sticky it's shimmery but not too crazy i didn't get any of the intense ones i definitely do want to try the intense ones and other shades of this i love this I'm very excited for the rest of the collection. I hope to get the big jawbreaker palette and three of the eyeshadow or three of the lip products and hopefully a handheld mirror. Maybe we will see, but that is what I hope to get. Uh, stay tuned if you want to see the big jawbreaker palette because eventually I will get that if I don't get it tomorrow at the launch when I'm filming this. But you guys, that is all. Um, again, this is the look we created with the mini breaker palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Jeffree Star's very first mini eyeshadow palette, and I love it. His formula is amazing. The shadows blended amazing. Uh, I didn't have any issues, and it just, it was amazing but that is all thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed and if you did do not forget to subscribe down below i post new videos every monday wednesday and friday three times a week and three times a week is not enough for you you can follow me on all my social media down below and at the end of this video thank you guys for watching and i hope you enjoyed can't wait to see you in the next one bye